what I wanted to show you in the Make Code Minute today is how you can use maker.makecode to help you create the circuit for a project you're working on. So here you'll see I have a uh, Feather M0 Express. And what I want to do is I want to be able to control these NeoPixel LEDs with the button and capacitive touch. So you'll see when I touch this wire, it's going to turn green. When I touch this button, I'll be able to switch from blue while it's held to red when it's released. I'll hide that and we'll take a look in maker.makecode. The interesting thing is that you can select from a bunch of different boards, compatible boards, and then as you build up your program in blocks, you'll see the simulator over here on the side will show you what the circuit looks like. So you can see right now, uh, by adding the blocks for a touch, capacitive touch and a button, it's created some circuit uh, for me on this little breadboard. So I can see here, here's a button. It's currently failing because my program doesn't do much with it. And uh, what I'd like you to pay attention to here is I've added a, from the light NeoPixel section, a set strip, which creates a NeoPixel strip. And watch what happens in the simulator when I add this block. We'll see that it is brought in a little simulated uh, NeoPixel strip and it's even plugged it in based on the settings that I've chosen. So I chose in my strip settings for it to be on pin D5. Let me zoom in here and you'll see with eight pixels. Uh, and then I'm setting it to red. And that is mimicked right here in the circuit board. So it's a, a really nice way to give yourself a little hint about how you're gonna plug things in. If you're new to electronics, particularly, you can see if there are pull up or pull down resistors involved, the ground connection, the data connection, and the power connection for this NeoPixel strip. It's all laid out here for you, and you can deviate from it if you need to, but it's a really great starting point. And so by creating this, now I can go in and see uh, the buttons changing the colors, and this mimics exactly what's happening in the real world, all right inside of Make Code. And that is your Make Code Minute.